Old Alabama Gardener, and in this video, I'm showing you how I grow cabbage plants. I like to use soil blocks to, uh, to do my starting of seeds. So here's a tray, it's got 50 soil blocks in it but I'm only going to plant about half of it as cabbage seed. I'm putting three seeds in because not all of them will sprout or maybe not all of them will survive to the point of transplanting. My cabbage plants are being uh, overshadowed, overgrown by these other plants. So I really need to get the cabbage plants out and into gallon pots. And that's what we're going to do next. So if this is a pot that I'm going to put a cabbage plant in, first of all I want some potting soil on the bottom of the pot like that. Doesn't matter whether you pack it down or not, whatever. What that's going to do is it's going to hold my fertilizer so it don't fall out through the bottom. So now I've got that, some potting soil in the bottom of my one gallon pot. And we're going to add some fertilizer. And it's going to be triple 13. 13, 13, 13. All that means is it's got the same amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. 13% of each one of those. It's called a balanced fertilizer. So we're going to put some fertilizer in here. I'm going to measure it so you can see what I'm doing. Now this is, you probably can't read it, but this is a half a tablespoon. So here's our triple 13. Now I'm going to put it into my hand so I can see about what it is because I usually use my hands to measure. So there's a half a tablespoon of triple 13 fertilizer and we're going to put that down there in the bottom. And then on top of that we're going to put some more soil, some more potting soil here. Because I don't want the roots of any cabbage plant to be setting right on that fertilizer. Now I'm filling the pot about half full of potting soil and now I'm ready for a plant. It's taken me about 30 days to grow these little plants from seeds and uh, you can see there look at the nice roots on that little plant notice how the soil block is holding together Here I have a soil block where two seeds sprouted, so I've got two plants there. I can just pull one off or cut one off if I wanted to, but most plants, especially cabbage, it's really easy to go ahead and separate them. So just carefully pull them apart, get them in a pot, water them good, and both plants will be okay.
I have the location of the holes marked now so I can get busy digging more of the holes. Now, there's a lot of loose dirt in the holes. Shovel doesn't get it all. So now I'm down on my knees and I'm actually digging out any loose soil in the hole because I want the roots of the cabbage plant to be down in there very well. I'm adding another probably half a tablespoon of a triple 13 fertilizer into each planting hole. This will feed the plant for about three months. As you see, this is very thick. Uh, I don't, it's not thin like tea water. It's more of like a thickness like a soup. After I have set the cabbage plant in the planting hole, I'm filling the hole about half to three quarters full because later I'm going to come back and add a little more fertilizer around the top part of that plant. Again, get the loose dirt out so we can set the plant down deep in the hole.
So here I've got 23 cabbage plants. Over here is our Japanese greens right here. This is a, a Komatsuna greens. This is one my wife really, really likes. She's already been harvesting this one, and that's good. Happy that we are. 